Hi, I'm Emily, and I'm going to show you how to decorate a cake with color and texture using just an offset spatula in less than five minutes. The first thing to do is to prepare your color palette. We're going to use buttercream to make paint. Check the consistency of your buttercream before you start mixing, and it should be easy to stir and also to spread. This is my four minute buttercream, and the recipe link is in the video description. I like to use a cupcake pan as a palette because it keeps all of the colors separate and it's easy to mix the colors in one of these. You don't have to use all 12 cups, I'm just going to use nine for this cake. Choose your colors, and I recommend using gels because they're really concentrated, so you get very bright and bold colors. You only need a very small amount of buttercream for each color you're going to make, maybe a tablespoon or two of each, and you only need a tiny drop of color for each of those blobs of buttercream. You can Google color palettes or color themes to choose combinations of colors that work well together. I tend to gravitate towards the same colors for my cakes, turquoise, pink, and purple, all of my favorite colors. So choosing a color palette online forces me out of my comfort zone to try new color combinations, which I almost always end up loving. Now that the colors are ready, it's time to paint a cake. The frosting on your cake needs to have set so that you can apply pressure to it without damaging it. I put this cake in the fridge for an hour to chill and set the frosting. You'll need an offset spatula, which is one of these, also called an angled palette knife. And using a small one like this will allow you to create more detail than using a big one like this one. Lower the tip of your offset spatula down into one of your colors and drag away sideways and you should have a small amount of that color on the blade. Press the tip of the offset spatula against the very bottom of the side of the cake and pull it up the side of the cake until you feel that there isn't any paint left in between your offset spatula and the cake. You can swipe a few times until you're happy with the texture and the coverage. And bear in mind that if you're using colors that are lighter than the frosting on your cake, you might need to do a few layers before you can cover up that darker frosting color. Swipe your offset spatula away and then dip it into the next color or the same color again and repeat the spreading motion upwards. Before changing color, wipe your offset spatula clean on a paper towel so that you don't drag your first color into the next color and that will keep the colors more distinct. What's nice about painting onto a cake when the frosting has set is that if you paint anywhere you don't want to paint, you can scrape that off with your offset spatula without damaging the frosting underneath. Paint onto the cake again and again, always starting with the tip of your offset spatula resting down on the cake board, and that will make sure that you're covering up the very bottom of the cake. You can vary the height that you paint upwards each time. You don't always have to try and make it identical because the irregularities of this design are what makes it so beautiful. If your buttercream isn't spreading nicely because it's too thick or too stiff, add a few drops of milk to thin it out and make it easier to paint with. If you haven't taken my free course yet, make sure you do and click here to check out my online cake school for lots of classes teaching step-by-step -step how to create gorgeous cake designs with hundreds of techniques. When you've painted all the way around the cake, you can paint another layer above the first row, adding more color and height and texture to your cake design. And this adds some more detail and makes the design more interesting. To add even more texture and color to your cake, you can press sprinkles into the paint. And it's easiest to do this straight after you've painted the cake so that the buttercream paint is still soft and sticky and then the sprinkles will attach easily. The quickest way to add sprinkles is to dip your finger into water, shake off the excess or dab it on a paper towel so your finger is just damp, not wet, and then press your finger into the sprinkles and they'll stick to the moisture on your finger. Press your finger into the paint and the sprinkles will stick to that instead of your finger. For my next five minute cake decorating video, I'm going to choose a tool chosen by you. So comment below with your tool suggestions and I'll pick one to get creative with. Isn't it gorgeous? It's such a quick and easy technique, but you would never know by looking at this that it took less than five minutes to decorate. Thank you for watching.